Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another item here for you all. I found this pretty interesting Nintendo Switch game card case from Hei Ying. I liked how it was in the shape of a Game Boy and decided to give it a buy. So stay a while, listen, and let's get started. Now this case is pretty lightweight, it weighs as much as a normal sized cell phone does, the front is made of a tempered glass, and the back is a plastic matte black finish. Opening it up, you have the 24 available slots for Switch games, as well as 24 micro SD card slots. Not really sure why you'd need 24 micro SD cards, but it is an option for you. These slots are made of rubber, which can be taken out as well. Here, let's go ahead and try putting a game or two in these slots just to see how it fits. It has a nice snug fit and it also fits flush to the case. The case is also magnetic which I really do like since you don't really have to make sure that it's closed when you do close it and there's pretty much zero chance that it will pop open if you take it around for travel. Here I just wanted to bring out my gaming phone so you can all see the size comparison between the phone and the game card case. One thing to note however is since the front is made of tempered glass, it is a major fingerprint magnet. As you can hopefully see here, my fingerprints are all over the front. Also, if you aren't careful, you can also scratch this tempered glass, so make sure you never place it face down or drag it on any surface. All in all, I would say that this is a pretty good novelty buy. The company also sells this in different colors and designs, as well as increased slots for the game cards. This one that I have is a 24 card case. I don't think I have a need for 48 game cards as well as uh, micro SD cards, which I believe is their maximum carrying capacity in another one of their designs. Again, I did say this was a novelty buy since there are other cheaper Switch card cases out there, but if you like the design and the simple aesthetic of this one, then I do recommend purchasing this and it is definitely worth a buy. As usual, I'll go ahead and place a link to this in the description below, and also, please leave a like, comment, or even subscribe for more content like this. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.